A supermassive black hole, known for its staggering mass and destructive power, has mysteriously changed its position and it appears to be aiming directly at Earth. This phenomenon defies everything we know about astronomy and physics, forcing scientists worldwide to rethink their theories and understandings. What will this extraordinary change mean for our planetary system? How do we prepare for the unknown? What secrets does this mysterious black hole hold? Great Concern Among Scientists PBCJ 2333.9 The galaxy PBCJ 2333.9 has been under intense scrutiny by scientists for some time, as it has attracted attention for some extremely strange properties. The galaxy emits a two-armed stream of charged particles that is absolutely lethal to life. The stream stretches along the axis of rotation of the black hole, the origin is a huge jet in the center of the galaxy. As if this was not already frightening enough, the current also suddenly changed its direction and since then has been coming directly toward us. But how exactly does this endanger us? Since the phenomenon was completely new to science, there was initially a lot of confusion. Jets are high-energy streams of electrons, protons, and other subatomic particles. In the case of PBCJ, 233.9, the extremely radiant streams reach dimensions of 4 million light years, which is about 40 times the diameter of our own galaxy. The completely unexpected change of direction added another aspect to the catastrophic observations that caused excitement. The stream of radio waves and particles had turned 90 degrees at the center of the galaxy, and one arm of the jet was now pointing directly at our Milky Way. The galaxy PBCJ 2333.9 could only be discovered at all because intense radio signals were received from its center. When scientists saw in more detail what was going on in this galaxy, they were startled and fascinated at the same time. A radiation ejection from this galaxy would easily pass through our Milky Way if it were in close proximity. Thanks to the distance of more than 600 million light years, the all-clear could be given at first, but the discovery was still highly alarming. At this point, we cannot rule out the possibility that there are other galaxies with deadly radiation ejections, and some of them may be far closer. Strictly speaking, PBCJ 2333.9 is not just producing a jet with two arms. Rather, the galaxy has formed a variety of streams through previous changes in direction the oldest of these have moved farthest from the galaxy, reaching far out into space and probably losing their deadly power only over thousands or millions of years. Structures that scientists have identified closer to the core represent younger and far more active jets. In addition, the stream of particles in the interior keeps producing new streams of energy, each of which is blown out into space from the center in two directly opposite directions. All in all, this galaxy appears to be a constantly poisonous rotating entity that poses a great danger to anything that gets in its way. Scientists still don't know for sure what this phenomenon means for the galaxy itself. It's hard to imagine any kind of life existing in a galaxy that contaminates itself from the center with deadly radiation. So far, it's also not clear whether this phenomenon is a peculiarity of the galaxy or the result of a catastrophe. In the universe, some horror planets and phenomena are known to emanate such extreme conditions that we on Earth can only get goosebumps. This time, the researchers seem to have found a whole horror galaxy. The jets inside can actually be explained quite simply by unusual interactions of magnetic fields and rotating gas near the supermassive black hole at the center. Friction and turbulent motions in the accretion disk release magnetic energy which is further twisted and amplified in the accretion disk. The magnetic fields thus twisted and amplified subsequently attract charged particles such as electrons and protons along the magnetic field lines and accelerate them to extremely high velocities. These particles are then ejected in the form of jets along the black hole's axis of rotation. Why the activity of the jets in the galaxy PBCJ 2333.9 is so intense and the stream changes direction in this extreme way is so far a mystery. 
direction change as a result of a collision. The strong radiation and the directional changes of the galactic center of PBCJ 2333.9 could be the direct consequence of a collision with another galaxy. A new collision or close encounter with another galaxy may have changed the axis angle. The black hole at the center has been in turmoil ever since, and activity is probably going on inside it that is unique in space and of greatest interest to scientists. Black holes are still among the most mysterious and least studied entities in the universe. At the same time, they are among the most dangerous. Nothing that once passes behind the event horizon of a black hole comes out again. We need to know if vagaries like that of the black hole at the center of PBCJ 2333.9 apply to other black holes as well. All currently known supermassive black holes are reassuringly far from Earth. The nearest lies at a distance of about 26,000 light years directly in the center of our Milky Way. Compared to the black hole activity at the center of PBCJ 2333.9, our central black hole is downright harmless. Sagittarius A star emits no lethal radiation and sucks in very little matter. Since we're in an outer segment of a spiral arm of the Milky Way, the gravitational effects of Sagittarius A star are negligible here on Earth. The nearest smaller black hole is about 1,000 light years away from us. But also, this object is dangerous only for the directly surrounding matter and not for us on Earth. So far, so good. But nevertheless, in the last years, the discoveries of astronomers accumulate, which tell us to be vigilant. In 2022, researchers detected a first black hole vagabonding freely through the Milky Way at a speed of 160,000 kilometers per hour. Moreover, at the moment, we cannot be sure that somewhere out there and very close to us is a previously unknown black hole. How dangerous is PBCJ 2333.9? Although the supermassive black hole is currently heading directly toward Earth, millions of years would pass before it reaches us. Whether humans would still exist on Earth then is questionable. But let's assume we would and look further at what happens when the supermassive black hole in the center of the galaxy keeps moving toward us. Initially, the black hole would appear similar to a star as a distant point of light in the sky. As it gets closer, its gravitational pull would increase distorting the light of the stars behind it, which is known as the gravitational lensing effect. The closer the black hole gets, the more pronounced this effect becomes. At some point, the influence of the magnetic forces begins to pull matter apart like spaghetti. When the black hole is extremely close, matter in its vicinity simply tears apart. All life on Earth is already destroyed at this point. Long before the actual contact with the planet, the strong magnetic influences threw the planet's gravity out of balance. The Earth's gravity went crazy, the weather got out of joint, and birds wandered disoriented through the world. Technical devices and air navigation ceased to function even with minor disturbances. The nervous system and the biomechanics of organic bodies would go completely crazy due to magnetic influences of this magnitude. The bloodstream would be distorted and all life would die out within a short time. The Earth would eventually be gradually sucked into the event horizon of the black hole. Although this scenario is highly unlikely, if it were to happen, it would obviously be the end of our planet's material existence. So far, researchers do not know for sure what happens to matter inside of a black hole. According to quantum mechanics, it's reduced to its pure information, and practically, this would mean that the Earth would have disappeared as a material phenomenon in this universe. But as information, it would still be contained. Black holes are omnipresent in the universe. In our galaxy, there are about 100 million black holes. There could be far more because the discovery of the black giants is extremely difficult. Since these cosmic phenomena themselves emit no light or little radiation, they are detectable only by their invisible mass or by the effects they produce in their surroundings. In April 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope captured its first real image of a black hole. The supermassive black hole is located at the center of the giant elliptical galaxy M87. 
Basically, the black hole itself is not visible either. The dark giant is only indirectly visible at the boundary of the event horizon. Dust and gases accumulate around the event horizon. These molecules and particles are able to reflect light and form the ring of fire around the actual black hole. The event horizon and the accretion disk do not form a physical boundary in the proper sense. Both regions are subject to constant dynamics and it's difficult to say where the black hole, or more so its influence begins and where it ends. The bottom line is that the activities of central supermassive black holes are felt throughout the galaxy. Their gravity has a direct influence on the motions of all celestial bodies, and they are very likely involved also in the formation of the shape of a galaxy. Beyond the event horizon lies a point in space beyond which it's impossible to escape the black hole's gravity. Inside a black hole, although large in diameter and immense in weight, could theoretically consist of a single point where all matter and all physical forces are concentrated in a way that our measurement methods are unable to detect or express. This point is called a singularity. Our universe is also said to have emerged from such a singularity 13.8 billion years ago. Whether singularities are points of complete destruction or simply gathering places of ancient information from the cosmos, we do not yet know for sure. It would be quite possible, especially by quantum mechanical views, that black holes are portals to other worlds where the swallowed information is recycled and thus reborn. This possibility can make the black giants appear a little bit more sympathetic, but nevertheless, surely no human being on this Earth would like to come close to a black hole, and a monster galaxy like PBCJ 2333.9 would surely also like to have nobody in his cosmic neighborhood. But what do you think about it? Tell us now in the comments.